Every year, thousands of divers flock to a remote area of the Central Pacific, known as Chuuk Lagoon. Situated in the midst of Micronesia, this lagoon is home to the world's largest ghost fleet. As such, it has earned a reputation as the single best wreck diving destination on the planet. Divers come to immerse themselves in history and become first-hand witnesses to the destruction of World War II. But beneath the allure of exploration, Chuuk Lagoon harbors a dark, haunted history that chills even the most seasoned adventurers. Chuuk Lagoon is not just any diving spot. It is a place where the ghosts of the past linger. The lagoon was once a bustling hub for the Imperial Japanese Navy during the World War II. It was their main base in the South Pacific Theater, offering sheltered waters for the combined fleet. Often called the Japanese equivalent to Pearl Harbor, Truk Lagoon, as it was known then, was a critical operational hub. However, in early 1944, this safe haven turned into a watery grave during Operation Hailstone, a massive US military assault that decimated the Japanese fleet anchored there. The waters of Chuuk Lagoon are now the final resting place for countless ships and aircraft. Many Japanese sailors went down with their vessels, and their spirits are said to haunt the wreckage, the eerie silence of the deep, combined with the sight of sunken warships and cargo, creates an atmosphere thick with history and haunting memories. Divers often report feeling an inexplicable sense of dread, as if they are being watched by unseen eyes. This sense of foreboding is not without cause. Over the years, there have been numerous accounts of strange occurrences and ghostly encounters in the lagoon. Some divers have reported hearing phantom footsteps echoing through the water, while others claim to have seen shadowy figures moving among the wrecks. The most unsettling stories involve sudden, chilling touches that make divers feel as if cold hands are reaching out from the past. Chuuk Lagoon stands as a testament to the horrors of war and the souls lost in its depths. As you descend into its waters, the weight of history is palpable. The ghostly remains of ships and planes, once instruments of war, now lie silent, covered in coral and inhabited by marine life. Yet, the presence of those who perished lingers, making Chuuk Lagoon not only a historical site, but also a place of haunting beauty and eerie mystery. The haunting allure of Chuuk Lagoon is rooted deeply in its history. During World War II, the Japanese used the lagoon, then known as Truk Lagoon, as a strategic base. Its sheltered waters provided a safe anchorage for the Imperial Japanese Navy's combined fleet making it a crucial hub in the South Pacific theater. The lagoon was the only major Japanese airbase within range of the Marshall Islands, serving as a defensive stronghold. In early 1944, the tides of war turned against Japan. The United States, having launched its Gilbert and Marshall Islands campaign, successfully captured several important atolls. With control over these territories, the US Navy set its sights on Chuuk Lagoon. The goal was to neutralize the threat of the Japanese fleet before moving on to other strategic locations in the Pacific. Thus, Operation Hailstone was conceived. On February 16th, 1944, Operation Hailstone commenced. Over the course of two days, the US launched relentless airstrikes, surface ship actions, and submarine attacks. The lagoon, once a haven, became a death trap. The Japanese, having anticipated an attack, had moved some of their larger warships to Palau. However, the majority of their fleet remained in Chuuk Lagoon, along with vast quantities of cargo and reinforcements destined for other Japanese strongholds. The devastation was immense. By the end of Operation Hailstone, 16 Japanese warships lay at the bottom of the lagoon, including light cruisers, destroyers, and submarine tenders. Alongside them were 32 merchant ships, many still loaded with supplies. Over 250 Japanese aircraft were destroyed, their wreckage joining the sunken vessels in the watery graveyard. The attack effectively crippled Japan's ability to launch counteroffensives in the region. 
The wrecks that now litter the lagoon's floor are not just relics of war, they are also tombs. Many Japanese sailors went down with their ships, their remains still entombed in the twisted metal and coral-covered hulls. These wrecks stand as silent witnesses to the ferocity of the battle and the lives lost. Today, Chuk Lagoon's ghost fleet has transformed into an underwater museum. Divers exploring the wrecks can still see the paraphernalia of war. Torpedoes, tanks, gas masks, and more scattered among the ships. The site is both fascinating and haunting, a stark reminder of the conflict that once raged above these now peaceful waters. As divers swim through the sunken corridors and decks, they often feel a profound connection to the past, sensing the presence of those who perished in the battle. This eerie connection adds to the lagoon's reputation as a haunted underwater realm, where history and ghostly tales intertwine. The chilling history of Chuk Lagoon has given rise to numerous ghost stories and eerie encounters. Divers who venture into this underwater graveyard often come back with tales that defy explanation. The spirits of those who perished in the lagoon seem to linger, their presence felt in unsettling ways. One of the most common reports is the feeling of being watched. Divers often describe a sense of dread, as if unseen eyes are following their every move. This sensation is strongest near the wrecks where the most lives were lost. Some divers even claim to have seen shadowy figures flitting through the water, disappearing as quickly as they appear. These apparitions are often seen at the edge of visibility, adding to the eerie atmosphere. There are also accounts of unexplained sounds. Divers have reported hearing metallic clinks and thuds, reminiscent of tools being used or footsteps echoing through the sunken corridors. These sounds are particularly unnerving because they often occur when no other divers are nearby. The noises seem to emanate from the wrecks themselves, as if the spirits of the lost sailors are still going about their duties. Physical sensations add another layer to these ghostly encounters. Some divers have experienced sudden drops in temperature, feeling a cold chill that penetrates even their wetsuits. Others speak of feeling as though they are being touched or grabbed by invisible hands. These sensations are often fleeting, but leave a lasting impression on those who experience them. One of the most famous ghost stories from Chuk Lagoon involves the wreck of the Fujikawa Maru. Divers exploring this ship have reported seeing the ghostly figure of a Japanese soldier standing guard. He is often seen in the engine room or near the cargo holds, his spectral form clear enough to be mistaken for a living person. Those who have encountered him describe an overwhelming sense of sorrow and loss, as if the soldier is still carrying out his duty, even in death. Another eerie tale comes from the wreck of the San Francisco Maru, known for its cargo of tanks and munitions. Divers have reported seeing flickering lights inside the ship, resembling lanterns or flashlights. These lights move through the corridors and compartments, sometimes even following divers as they explore. When they try to get closer, the lights vanish, leaving them in darkness. These ghostly encounters are not just stories told to thrill. They are genuine experiences shared by many who have dived in Chuk Lagoon. The combination of tragic history and the tangible presence of the past makes for a unique and often unsettling diving experience. The spirits of Chuk Lagoon seem to reach out reminding the living of the horrors of war and the lives lost beneath the waves. As the stories of Chuk Lagoon's haunted waters spread, more divers have come forward with their own unsettling experiences. Each new account adds to the mystique and confirms that the lagoon is unlike any other diving destination. The underwater realm is not just a place of historical significance, but also a domain where the past and present blur in eerie ways. One particularly chilling encounter occurred at the wreck of the Shinkoku Maru, a fleet oiler that now lies in deep water. Divers exploring the ship's medical bay have reported feeling sudden nausea and dizziness, as if the lingering pain and suffering from wartime injuries 
are still palpable. Some have even claimed to hear faint anguished cries and whispers in Japanese, the voices seeming to echo through the narrow corridors and empty rooms. The Heian Maru, a former submarine tender, is another hotspot for ghostly activity. Divers often find themselves unnerved by sudden cold spots and the sensation of being watched. There have been reports of divers' equipment malfunctioning without explanation, from sudden loss of light to inexplicable drops in air pressure. These malfunctions are always temporary, as if the spirits are merely playing tricks, reminding visitors of their presence. One diver recounted an experience at the Nipomaru, a wreck famous for its tanks and artillery. While exploring the ship's bridge, he felt a strong tug on his fin, almost pulling him off balance. Turning quickly, he found no one there. The group he was diving with were all ahead of him, oblivious to his struggle. Later, when reviewing the footage from his underwater camera, he was shocked to see a faint ghostly hand reaching out from the shadows, grasping at his fin. The I-169 Shinohara, a Japanese submarine that met its fate during Operation Hailstone, has its own share of spectral sightings. Divers exploring this vessel have reported seeing ghostly faces peering out from the portholes and hatches. These faces often appear suddenly, staring blankly at the divers before fading away. The chilling sight leaves an indelible mark on those who witness it, a reminder of the lives lost within the steel confines of the submarine. Perhaps the most unsettling stories come from night dives. The darkness of the lagoon at night amplifies every sound and shadow. Divers often describe hearing unidentifiable noises, scraping, tapping, and muffled voices emanating from the wrecks. Some have reported seeing ghostly lights moving through the water, far from any known source. These lights, sometimes described as glowing orbs or lanterns, seem to follow divers, leading them deeper into the wrecks before disappearing abruptly. The stories of Chuk Lagoon's ghostly encounters continue to grow each one adding to the legend of this haunted underwater graveyard. For many, the allure of Chuk Lagoon lies not just in its historical significance, but in the chance to experience these eerie moments firsthand. The spirits of the lagoon, bound to their sunken vessels, seem determined to keep their stories alive, reaching out to the living through the veil of time and water. The tales of Chuk Lagoon's haunted waters have left an indelible mark on those who have ventured into its depths. These ghostly encounters are more than just stories. They are a testament to the lingering presence of a tragic past. Divers who explore this underwater graveyard find themselves touched not only by the physical remnants of war, but also by the spirits that seem to dwell within the wreckage. For many, the lagoon represents a place where history is not just observed, but felt. The eerie sensations, the inexplicable phenomena, and the ghostly apparitions all serve as reminders of the horrors of war and the lives lost beneath the waves. Each dive is a journey into a world where the past and present coexist, where the memories of those who perished are etched into the fabric of the underwater landscape. Chuk Lagoon continues to attract divers from around the world, drawn by the allure of its sunken fleet and the stories of its haunted waters. Some come seeking adventure, others to pay their respects, and many to experience the unique blend of history and mystery that defines the lagoon. The wrecks, covered in coral and teeming with marine life, stand as silent sentinels, guarding the secrets of the past. Despite the eerie encounters, there is a profound sense of reverence among those who dive in Chuk Lagoon. The spirits of the lagoon are not seen as malevolent, but as guardians of history. Their presence a poignant reminder of the cost of conflict. Divers often leave with a deeper understanding of the war's impact and a respect for the souls who remain bound to their final resting places. In the end, Chuk Lagoon is more than just a diving destination. It is a place of reflection and remembrance. The haunted waters serve as a powerful reminder of the past, where history comes alive in the most unexpected ways. The ghostly encounters, while unsettling, 
offer a unique connection to the events of World War II and the lives forever changed by its course. As divers surface from the depths, they carry with them not just memories of the stunning coral and marine life, but also the whispers of the past. The stories of Chuk Lagoon, both historical and spectral, continue to be told, ensuring that the sacrifices made and the lives lost are never forgotten. The lagoon remains a place where the echoes of history resonate, reminding us of the enduring legacy of those fateful days in 1944. In Chuk Lagoon, the past is never far away. It lingers in the rusting hulks of ships, in the artifacts scattered across the seabed, and in the ghostly apparitions that keep watch over the watery graveyard. It is a place where the living and the dead share a silent bond united by the haunting beauty and solemn history of one of the most remarkable and eerie underwater sites in the world. <laughs>